welcome back to the underground lair. We have a bit of a different animal here. We have a... It appears to be a 2015... Jimi Hendrix. Because that's, that's his writing right there on the back there. A Mexican made... Fender Stratocaster with a 920D custom wired pickup or pick guard and Buddy says that he's not sure on his soldering but uh, let's just take a peek and see I did a bit of a preemptive strike on uh, things like the uh, relief um, he wanted the bridge to be um, down on the deck, string height, before I even changed the strings. Haven't touched the intonation, but let's see if there's any noise in the uh, in the machine. <laughs> Okay, so everything works. I'm going to have to, when I pop the strings off, we're going to make sure that it um, uh, actually does what it's, or is wired the way it should be wired. And uh, this pick guard, I happen to look it up online, Fiesta Pickups, $299. And it has two warm sounding and they do sound warm ceramic single coils and a humbucker through a um, heavy duty switch orange drop capacitor and it feels like one of those um, full, full contact um, output jacks yeah it's one of those one of those jacks that I use I can't remember what they're called Pure tone. That's it. All right. So uh, the sound works. Unplug the noisemaker. Change the strings. And check his soldering just to make sure that it's cool. Everything's pre-soldered. So the only thing I can imagine that he's soldering is the ground wire. But we'll see. Oh, it is a pre-wired. Um, pickup and the only thing he had to do is solder this on and it looks fine it it's not the prettiest solder joint in the world but I've done worse <laughs> um, as long as you have continuity I think you're fine um, I would suggest that he would um, put some shielding paint in there um, but these are these are designed to be quiet pickups to begin with so I really don't see a big deal I had I didn't hear any noise when I played it just now so let's button it back up I think he's good to go what do you think one thing I will point out to him though is whenever you're putting the um, I don't know if he knew this or not but everybody should know this when they're working on guitars you're gonna back the screw up until you hear it pop right into the thread and then you can go ahead and tighten it down that way you're not stripping out the wood and that's all I have to say about that so they give you a little wiring diagram and everything checks out the only thing that he had to do was put the ground up oh, there it is right there trim ground he did it so it's good to go okay so Diodario tens it is and I'll tell you what they did not want to come out I had to use a um, G45 uh, G from a base string set to push it through the other side. Stratocasters really like the 
fender bullet strings. That's what the uh, trim blocks are made for. They seat perfectly and they come out easy. No, I'm not a fan of fender strings. You see that the, uh, the springs are in here, in my opinion, wrong, but it's not going to be, it's, the trim is going to be blocked or decked anyhow. Um, if you were going to have it floating, I would separate these into the uh, three parallel. One in the middle, one on each outside edge. Because if you were to have a floating trim and you were to pull up on the arm, you would very possibly have that middle spring that isn't doing as much as the outer springs pop right out of place. Alright, we're going to flip it over and crank up the strings. We'll be back. So you couldn't you could see that it wasn't happy with three springs. I had to add another one. Now to be happy. It's decked. It's in tune. We go from there. Okay everybody, we are set up. Now just to let it rest overnight, come back and check it in the morning. We have actually about 964s here at the 7th and 8th fret. Um, we are intonated. We checked his soldering. It's good. 464s, actually about 5.5 64s, no, no, 4.5 64s on the E and the A, and then we're at 464s the rest of the way down. Just because I was getting a little bit of buzz that I didn't like there. And it's like four and a half sixty fourths. So that's uh yeah, whatever. Do the math. We're intonated. Um double check the pickup heights because I did change the good, good, good. Didn't change that much, I guess. That could go down. Need the right bit. Did I erase that? I think I raised that. There we go. A little bit more. That should do it. Good, good. And I can come down a little bit. There we go, perfect. Alright, so, oh yeah, I wanted to double check to make sure these screws are tight. They are. Nope, that one's not. And strap buttons are tight. Just have to put the bottom back, the back back, the back back, the back back on. But I'm not going to do that until tomorrow because we want to let it sit and acclimate. Uh, polished frets. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. We're going to put some of this in. Thanks to 
somebody that watches Dave's World of Fun Stuff, Super Lube, find that it's better than, um, what is this stuff here? Big Ben's Nut Sauce. You put it on a spot. Can you see what I'm doing? Yeah. You put it on a spot, you squeeze it out, and it stays on that spot. It'll work its way, it's penetrating, it'll work its way under the string. It's not really a gel. And I'm going to put some up here. Just a little dot. Just let it soak in. Now for the string tree, I did use some of the graphite paste from Stumac. So that's all going to just soak right in. This stuff is amazing. Super Lube Multi-Purpose Synthetic Oil. He lost his source on it, and somebody that watches his channel found it on Amazon. They sell it in a 10-pack, so it should be lasting quite a while. Just going to lift these strings up, let it fall into place. Alright, and that should do it. A little paper towel. A lot of paper towels. Somebody send me some paper towels. Just to make sure it doesn't go any anywhere like um, where gravity takes it. And that stuff pretty much just a little dab will do you. Alright, I'm going to put it on a stand, let it sit overnight, we'll be back tomorrow. Alright everybody, we're back next day. And let's see here, where are we at? Between four and a half, or uh, at four and a half, 64, between four and a half, four and five. Um, closer to four, Right at four, right at four, right at four, right at four. And let's check our relief. I think last night it was around nine thou. Meaning the ten thou just barely fit underneath that. Let's see where we're at now. Seventh fret. Oh, hold it. I'm sorry. We're holding up here. Just barely moving that string. Let's see if there's any kind of buzz. Okay, check our intonation. Upside down tuners. <laughs> Sorry for the runny nose as I'm mowing the lawn earlier and it's just catching up with me now.
Okay, so back to checking intonation. B is on. A is just a little, sh I mean, it's just fluttering sharp, so I'm gonna just give it like a quarter of a turn that way. So we have our string heights correct at the first fret, our relief is correct at the um, seventh and eighth fret, string height at the seventeenth is good, pickup height is good, and let's just um, play this a little bit, give you an idea of some of the tones on this, start at the bridge. These two. I can't play in general. Once again, we got the uh, tone in the bridge pickup position, which is absolutely cool. All strats should have that. I don't know why they don't. I'm sure there's some snobby old uh, vintage reason. So hey, if you um, if you like what you see here, please check us out on Facebook. Um, please subscribe to the channel. There's tons of videos. I think I'm over 150. Uh, stringmanguitars at gmail.com If you're in the greater Pittsburgh area and you need your axe sharpened, let us know. We'll hook you up. Anyhow, be careful, be safe, peace, love you long time.